Hey folks, how's it hanging? It is I, your rat daddy, and I am today bringing you once again another semi-somewhat fun tutorial using Character Editor in RimWorld. Today, my friends, we are going to be creating a squirrel army. Not just any squirrel army, the greatest damn squirrel army you've ever seen in your entire life in RimWorld. We have Butterball here, who is going to be a stand-in for, I believe our squirrel's name was Butter last time. I had created a video not too long ago of most powerful squirrel in RimWorld, essentially, and so we're going to be doing that again today, except today we are going to be creating an entire damn army of the creatures. We are going to go ahead and start working on that. Um, I am just just basically working on some power armor here. The character editor menu for the little critter. We are going to uh, that on butter. All right, so we have all of this armor, all of it legendary, at least it's supposed to be. There we go. So it's all legendary, most of it plasteel and whatnot. I'm only getting a certain armor rating here, but I mean, it should be good because all this is actually on him. Um, I think that's about it. I think that's about all we really have to put on him for the most part. I do. Oh, I do have some good weapons, actually. I forgot, completely forgot. I have the um, Star Wars uh, KOTOR, I don't know how you pronounce this, weapons and armor. Uh, so we could actually, <laughs> we could actually give the squirrel some lightsabers, which would be really fun. Butterball, um, I'm not sure why, why is Butterball, I thought I could command Butterball. Maybe I can't, I kind of forgot how the mod works. Uh, maybe I can't, I was using the attack squirrels but i think it's just i don't think i can control him look how, oh my god look how fast he is though did you see that watch watch butterball oh man wait oh man he's fast all right i'm going to save butterball because we want to make many many butterballs uh, i'm going to put him right here on the 54 slot and we're going to go ahead and spawn in a raid that's okay we'll test the we'll test him out on the one raider we'll see how that goes sorry buddy all right let's start walking towards this raider i'm going to put animals on attack so butterball will fight with him okay wait all right so he's attacking butterball butterball is not really doing anything i guess butterball is not seeing him as an enemy Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa, there you go, Butterball. All right, it's all you, brother. It's all you. Check it out. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, he's getting it. Oh, my God, he did it. He did it. Oh, whoa, and he's so fast, too. All right, so that's just one. So this is going to be really fun, though. Um, let's go ahead and just make a bunch of Butterball. Uh, I'm going to just spawn a bunch of him in. All right, that took a second, but as it currently stands, we have, uh, let me see, 50 Butterballs. So let's go ahead. I'm going to spawn in just an absolutely massive raid. Uh, so we'll go ahead and spawn them in. They are somewhere. Let's see how big their little army is. So there is about 115 of them versus about 50 of butter. So we'll see how well this goes. I don't think I'm going to help at all. I think I'll just let Pinky do pinky's own thing are they not ah here's the problem so they're not trained like butter is but that's okay they should still fight the rest of them should be able to fight these people i would have to train them all which i really should do but all right we're starting to lose some we're starting to lose some of our squirrels here they're not attacking is the problem uh they're mostly just standing around uh which is problematic very problematic. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, it's a little problematic. I'm not going to lie. Not exactly what I wanted. Uh, I think it's mostly just because they're not trained, though. Okay, we, we should make a bigger army and see how it goes. All right, so we have a bunch more Butterballs. I have now got them all trained up. So they are 61 strong. I've got them all trained up. Most of them have a uh, the cross guard lightsabers, but some of them do have the Kanegaran battle rifle. So we're going to try that. They got some battle rifles. Some of them have the cross guard lightsabers. Uh, and I've got them all trained to attack. I don't want to spawn. I need a raid. We'll go ahead and send you up here. Uh, there they are, the Tox Pirates. We'll actually just kind of stand down here, I guess. 
uh, because they should come near us. Uh, regardless, they should at least attack these pirates, I suppose. We'll see how well it goes. Not well so far, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Not too great. Uh, they're doing a little better, though. They're actually starting to attack them. I think it's just kind of the AI of the squirrels, possibly. But some of them are also firing their weapons, which is cool. Their rifles. It's extremely loud, so I apologize. <laughs> but they're actually winning. Look at this. Oh, my God. They're actually winning. They are fleeing. Look. Oh, and they're hiding in corners, shooting at them. They're spinning their cross guard lightsabers. They killed them. They killed them all. How many do we have left though? 51. We only lost 10 of them during that. That's amazing. That is so much better than what we had before. So they are actually starting to attack now instead of just walking around. Yeah, we lost quite a few of them, but oh my God, <laughs> that's amazing. They actually defeated an army of waster pirates. That is amazing. Ah, oh, good job, little butterballs. That is so cool. We could quite literally take over the world with them. I mean, if we wanted to, just because, I mean, you know, if, if we made enough of them, we could definitely do it. But yeah, uh, they never do. Oh, they do edge walk in. Did I mean to do that? I guess I did. They can walk in. That's cool. Let's see how well. Oh, shit. We got them coming. Let's see how well they do. I also have. Oh, man. Oh, man. They're actually starting to kind of kind of win, I think. Run, Pinky. I noticed they're not getting in there for the... Oh, here they go, though. Melee. Come on, guys. They're firing at them. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Finally. <laughs> well, it, it's going quite well, I suppose. How many have we killed so far? Not too many. And we're losing more squirrels than anything. But with enough of them, we could definitely take this on. I think it's because I have the attack animals off. I should definitely turn that on. That could have been the problem there. Ah! And this guy's attacking me. We could really make them extremely powerful. I think I already turned this up, didn't I? Yeah, this is very high. We could give them all, like, different weapons that shoot faster and stuff. Like, I could I could make this shoot a lot faster. Projectile speed. Infinite, right? Is that what we want? We want it to be fast. Fire rate. Uh, burst count range we want it to be just ungodly and very quick and very accurate and everything so we could just crank this up on their rifles this is going to give us a major boost already because look how fast he's going to shoot this rifle oh yeah look at that <laughs> oh even with just that i'm pretty sure we can win oh my god that's so crazy <laughs> oh that's so fun yeah, I think we won. I think we won that battle. Now, we did lose uh, quite a few of them. Actually, about 10 more during that battle. So, that wasn't near as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, this is a the most powerful squirrel army, quite frankly, in RimWorld. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. Uh, you could make more and more and more. I mean, I could make it just ungodly amount of squirrels and do whatever I want. But this is a real powerful demonstration of just how powerful these squirrels can be with the right mods. Um, and yet another demonstration, as I always say, of how you can do anything you want with Character Editor in RimWorld. It is amazing, especially with the right combination of mods. It's You can just make some really wild and awesome shit. <laughs> but I guess I will bid you farewell, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope this has helped you be a little more creative in RimWorld with Character Editor and things like that. And maybe give you some spontaneous ideas. Um... If you guys have any ideas for things you'd like to see me do with Character Editor in RimWorld, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below, and I may just give it a shot, uh, because I love being able to show you guys new stuff and do new stuff with Character Editor. It is amazing. So, But uh, I love you guys ever so much, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.